Joining us this morning, Tatiana Jordan. Tatiana Jordan. I get the name right. Jordan. Tatiana. Tatiana. Okay. It's Tatiana Jordan. Let's now start with the the problem, the problem that we needed to solve. Didn't uh, one of you tell me that there were 3,000 jobs and yet 135,000 applications for those jobs? There was. Wow. Sure, I'll, I can take that one. Please. When Kia first decided to locate itself in the United States, it had to determine where would be the best place to do that. Well, in the final analysis, Georgia stood out among the crowd. Yay! And the reason was there was a significant available workforce in West Georgia, thanks to some other industry that had left that area or was in the process of leaving, and that was the textile industry. Mm. So Kia had a ripe opportunity to move in, open up a factory, as well as several suppliers in the area to the tune of maybe 12 to 13,000 jobs, including those suppliers. So when Kia initially announced its hiring, within the first 30 days for about 1,000 jobs, we received more than 43,000 job applications. There was an overwhelming response rate, and then after those first 3,000 jobs were filled, we counted 135,000 applications had been received. But today, when a job opening is posted, we don't have that kind of an overwhelming response. And for the candidates who do apply, they are struggling to meet some of the minimum criteria, like high school graduation. Wow, wow. So we were immediately able to see that there was gonna be a problem, not only to fulfill the needs that we had today, but as we look into the future, 10, 20, maybe even 50 years down the road. And so enter Think. And not only do you prepare students for the, the necessary skills, they need the hard skills, but you and I talked a lot about the soft skills. Absolutely. Can you outline those for us? Absolutely. So um, through Kia's leadership um, and the community, LaGrange, Troop County, um, the idea of THINK came about. And when it did, we interviewed or surveyed over 200 employers and basically said, what is your greatest need? And it's soft skills. Um, so we've heard over and over, and we still continue to hear it today. This is our our third year open with Think, is that employers can hire employees, but they can't keep them. Or once they go through the interview process, which narrows the pool, it's always the soft skills. And so our employers in the area identified 13 soft skills um, that is really the foundation for everything that we do at Think. Um, so it drives our culture. Um, it's our students receive 30% of their grade is on their soft skills. Um, so it's a, it's a very important part of what we do at Think that sets us apart from your traditional school setting. Yeah, it's a key differentiator. And you mentioned culture, which is important in any organization, school or corporation, um, some of the soft skills that you may not realize are, are key to someone's success just in life. Uh, shaking hands, looking people in the eye, being articulate, teamwork, uh, attendance and presence, just showing up and being early. Early is on time. I learned that. Uh, thank you, 3CI. Uh, uh, confidence. Um, and something super compelling that I want to hear your thoughts about more, Stuart, um, is just letting people know that that Kia and Think uh, are investing in these in these people because they see a bright future in them. Mm -hmm. That alone is empowering. Well, it is. Um, our investment into this at a little more than three million dollars was significant, but it also shows the importance. Um, we believe we want to be there many years from now, yeah. but if you don't have that pipeline of individuals that are coming back in to fill people who maybe have moved on to a different job or retired, um, that's, the, that's what we see as a critical part of it. But you also have to find partnerships with, within the state, so we were of very fortunate that uh, Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle 
uh, working with the uh, Technical College System of Georgia, helped to come on the backside and get this promoted. Um, and we appreciate all those helps, but it's what we see is that public and private partnership is extremely crucial to that. Certainly as a business, um, you're looking outside to where these young individuals are getting these um, skills. We know how we operate on the inside, but with uh, Kathy's leadership and in teaching these soft skills, we think that that's important because we still have to interact with one another. Um, we liken that a little bit to where we know we're a technical um, society now with cell phones and various other things, mm -hmm. but we still have to be able to talk one-on-one -on -one and communicate. So the skills that they are teaching from all 13 aspects, we believe will help make us as a company a leader uh, going forward. I, I don't doubt that. I, I love so much about what you're doing, not only for um, our state, but, but for the people in our state. It's huge. Anytime a, a company can invest in the people that live in the community, it, it benefits everyone. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, I want to hear some success stories. You know, we can talk all day about investment and what we aim to do, but at the end of the day, it's the results that matter. So. What have you seen as a result of this collaboration? Can I get you with that one? Um, I think one of my favorite stories is, you know, we, we opened three years ago. So if you can just imagine, you know, this was a very new concept in a, in a very small town to have Think College and Career Academy. We're part of the high schools, we're part of the school system. Um, walls were not even finished so we had to recruit students to attend think um, and we called them adventurers because they really didn't know what they were going to get into uh, so this one young man his uh, uh, mother is a nurse they're they're very involved in the community family came to us during the summer before we opened and said we don't know what to do. Our son is going into the 10th grade and he wants to drop out of, of high school. Oh. And they were devastated, yeah. frustrated, you know, didn't know what to do. They had tried everything. He hated school, didn't want to go. And uh, so they said, our last hope is, is think. And so he was one of our, our first cohort and uh, started out, and the, th the one thing that we do at Think is it's hands-on learning. So it's, it's, you have a lot of things going on. You have employers on campus encouraging students, giving them future, giving them hope, and then you have hands-on learning with, you know, in robotics and technology and all of this equipment. And um, today, um, he's a senior and uh, is finishing high school and is working part-time at one of our local companies uh, in, in LaGrange. And he stands tall. His parents are, are out, you know, our favorite spokesperson for the academy because it really made a difference. And what he'll say is, is I needed to work with my hands and it made a difference and now it's connected. And once he made that connection with an employer, everything began to fall in place. Why do I need soft skills? Why do I need skills? Why do I need education? And uh, so he's planning to go on to the technical college and he has a very bright future ahead of him. So. I absolutely love that. Thank you for sharing that story with us. And let's multiply that times how many, how many students? Well, we have uh, 600 students that's under our umbrella, if you will. We have a, a a little over 400 on campus taking courses, but we're inside of a technical college. And so we have students over 100 that walk down the hall all day long and go to college. So they're back and forth between college and high school during the day. And then we have um, over 80 students that, that's actually in the workforce working. Wow, you're changing lives, yes. that's awesome. Um, I love the power of the internet. And I love the fact that anybody watching right now that is moved, as I am, and they want to help, um, you know, what can, what can we do? Well, how can we pour in to Kia Motors Manufacturing Georgia and Think College and Career Academy? Throw it out there, anything, sky's the limit. Well, as the chairperson for Think, in addition to my public relations role at Kia, I would say that the public 
the partnerships that Stuart mentioned are critical. It's not just the dollars that come in to support the, the newest in the industry type of technology, but it's the dollars that tell the students, industry is interested in you. We care. We do care. That's what industry says. So industry can partner, industry can invest in those students through uh, contacting them and by looking at the website, you mentioned the internet, thinkacademy.net is yes. the way to get, that's think with a C. But I also think touring and taking a look at the, the College and Career Academy in LaGrange is a very eye-opening experience. And if you tour during a school day, during the school you know, semester, you can't walk down the halls and expect to get out of there without meeting a student. It's not like walking down a regular high school hallway where students tend to look away and they shy away from an adult. Students are going to exit the classroom during their <laughs> teacher's lecture maybe or a, a, a project, group assignment. They're gonna exit the classroom, shake your, their, your hand and introduce themselves. They're gonna tell you what they're doing, what they're studying, and they wanna know who's in their school, they're interested. They, they know that business people are walking up and down the hallways and even having meetings in the boardroom and other places. So you can take that experience back to wherever you might be and perhaps sprinkle a little bit of that in your community, into your system, and even some of the soft skills culture with children. I absolutely love that. We will have the link um, to thinkacademy.net uh, in the description below this video. One thing that I would add that it closes out a lot of what they've said, but we always talk about from a manufacturing. Um, we're an advanced manufacturing plan. What does that mean? There's a lot of robotics yes. um, involved. Um, you know, it's not your father's old methodology, in our case of assembling cars. Part of the initiative certainly within Think is to try to get that energy and interest behind that. There's sometimes a misunderstanding that industry is not a exciting career, but the way that we advance as a society from technology and these kids that are coming out it <coughs> continuously changes. So there's always movement in it. And with the help of the Think Academy and the hands-on experiences that Kathy spoke about, it's helping you to understand what goes on be it in our facility or other manufacturing facilities. And sometimes that picture is not very clear. So there's lots of good activities out there, lots of good careers for, for uh, the up and coming future generations. Oh gosh. The, the amount of tech jobs uh, that are available to people in the state and mm -hmm. the lack of people there are to fill them is astounding. Um, it's, I love technology. I could obviously I could talk about it all day, but I won't, not today. <laughs> Um, Stuart, thank you so much. Uh, Kathy, anything you'd like to add in closing? Um, you know, this is probably small in the scheme of things, but to, I was just thinking to bring the reality to the table of, of the influence of soft skills and that and having that in education along with your partners. Um, if you can kind of imagine this, as I mentioned, 30 percent of their grade is based on soft skills. Um, our students, if they're absent from school, they have to call their teacher and check in, um, just like they do with in with the, the real world. Yeah. And so we try to implement a lot of things like that, and we've had to educate teachers on how does it work, you know, to be successful at IKEA and what do they need to do. And so I just I just thought about that 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 would just to bring that reality to the power of 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 integrating soft skills into your culture. Absolutely, I, I remember at one point uh, when I was a freshman in college, I was looking at the course load and I was like, what in the world does American history have to do with my degree in XYZ? And I got really jaded because you look at how much it costs and you're like, I'm paying this much money for this class when I really just want to, I want to get right into it. Like, I just want to get into my internship. And, you know, so there is a certain segment of people that want to learn by doing and they're hands on and they don't yeah, want absolutely. to wait. They want to go and connect just, the dots. Yeah. So thank you for appealing to the, the, the people who learn in a different way and maybe have been jaded and, and have so much potential. It's huge. Um, Corinne, bring us home. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you hear a lot about people that are frustrated with education. And that can take a lot of forms, but I think if you're dissatisfied with the result, you have to commit yourself not to doing it the same way you've always done it. 
And the way to change the way we've done it is to get involved. So that would be sort of my rally cry is be yes. inspired, we hope, yes. and get involved in education. Absolutely. As Steve Jobs said, think differently. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. Please visit the link in the description and learn more and support these amazing humans. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you.